Hello everyone. Okay, this video is on how I added a three horse engine to a three wheel bicycle. Donations sent to makecoolhome at yahoo.com. Email address, which is the PayPal user ID. Okay. All right. That's the only way I will take donations. I will not take any other donations any other way. Okay, and so here we are. Go green. The very good gas mileage because I just cruised this around and for a long time and I took off the gas cap and lo and behold, it was still full of gas. Okay, and this is my brake. Could have some type of brake. It's not the best brake, but it is a brake. Of course, I can put my wheels, I can put my feet down. Okay, I don't go too fast on this thing. I don't trust going fast on a bicycle with an engine on it like this. Okay, this you can also pedal this bicycle as I'm showing you here. And you can see the size of my sprocket and my centrifugal clutch. Okay, see how that is? There, the centrifugal clutch and how I bolted this thing to it. Okay, and... There's one wheel on that axle that I just tighten up all the way and it turns when the axle turns. Now there is a little bit of slippage here. I got to get that fixed. Okay, so we'll now go into the other subject of the throttle cable. There's the throttle cable. I, I figured out that the throttle cable needed to be needed to pull from that side. Okay, so I made a little aluminum part as you can see the it was actually a screen holder at one time. I drilled a hole in it and I put the throttle cable through that way and I crimped it and then up here I actually I soldered the end of this part on that red handle so it wouldn't wouldn't slip through because it that crimping didn't hold okay so got to have some type of throttle cable disconnected you see that red switch here on the engine well that was the on and off switch I disconnected for the on and off switch. And right here I'm still showing you the throttle cable. Now that spring right there was not there originally. I added that. I needed an extra spring. So to be sure that when I pulled that thing forward, the spring was going to pull it back, you know, dis disengage it. Now there's that aluminum part and the throttle cable going through it again. So I took out that bolt right there and and then I put it through that aluminum part and I'm showing you that spring I added there. Okay, and there's a little brown metal bar going through there. Well, got, that was a bit frame that I cut out and modified so it would fit there, give it extra support. And I got the mounting bolts for the incision at Advanced Auto Parts. I forget what size it was. I'm showing you the axle right here. Now, this is where I will that tighten the heck out of that nut there okay so that will that wheel will turn when the axle turns but there is a little slippage in it I gotta find a way to fix it there's the on and off switch so basically that is on right there I can go ahead and the magneto is not shorted out that's the on switch I I disconnected the little red on an off switch on the engine and connected my own ran it up in front because for safety you want to be able to turn this thing off you don't want to get going down the road and that thing going faster than you expect because this thing does go very pretty pretty fast I've never opened it up full throttle and you get going down there and, it's, and lo and behold you can't turn that thing off okay so make sure you got an on and off switch before you get on it Okay, I mean, an easy access on and off switch. You don't want to be sticking your hands back out behind you. Okay, and make sure everything, the sprockets and everything are lined up in the chain, turns good. Okay, and take it slow at the start. Okay, so here I am. I'm taking it. I'm showing you all how it works a little bit with the video. Now there is a little slippage in the 
per the axle now with the because the wheel is supposed to, supposed to be that one wheel is supposed to tighten against that round piece of metal that was welded to the axle okay so but there is a little slippage there I had to get that fixed okay because I've I've drove this bike around for about f about five miles now okay and it is starting to slip a little bit now so it still works and I wanted to go ahead and get this video on there now okay so you can tell Joe Biden and everyone that he doesn't need to ruin the planet and try to go green and pollute the world with the lithium batteries and all this other stuff because if you know everyone was driving one of these three-wheel bicycles I mean they get very good gas mileage you wouldn't have to worry about that okay so here yeah, I'm slowing down a little bit because there is a car gonna pass me and I want to make sure that I'm way off the road and complete control for him to pass me and now I'm speeding back up now this is a little bit faster than what I normally go I'm trying to show you all just how fast this thing will go if the gear ratio is right I mean the, the back tires are the right size and the sprocket is the right size and the front sprockets the right size on the centrifugal clutch it'll start up pretty quick and it'll get going pretty quick okay so I think right now my gear ratio is about five to one you know something around there I think okay it starts up and if the grass it will go on grass if the grass is not real soggy okay Okay, guys, and thank you for watching. Any donations is greatly appreciated. Okay, and I hope this helped you. And, you know, you can always feel free to pause that video at any time to, to look at how I mounted this engine. I remember the mounting bolts I got from Advanced Auto Parts. They were metric. Okay, thank you for watching. And